she's back up again. It's Penny, by the way, for those of you who asked yesterday. And uh, she tends to follow me around quite a bit. Anyway, uh, today's video, yeah, well, I don't know whether this is good or bad. The sun is absolutely, it's gorgeous weather right now, and it makes it even more frustrating that we've got to stay um, off a golf course. But I suppose it's at least nice that we can get outside and enjoy a bit of sunshine on this lockdown. Anyway, we're going to enjoy some sunshine back over in Spain. That's where we're going to start this one off. In uh, today's Man vs Golf Hole Challenge uh, on lockdown. Before we get into the Man vs Golf Hole Challenge, just a quick question for you to get involved in the comments below because it's really important that uh, you get involved. I love the interaction. Again, I never ask you to hit that like button, but please do so. And also subscribe if you don't already. But the question is, when this is all over and lockdown's lifted, where's the first golf course you're going to play? And maybe more importantly, who with? So get that one down in the comments down below. Anyway, let's get this kicked off. I start this whole thing off in a place called PJ Catalunya, uh, which is in Costa Brava over in Spain. It's an unreal golf course. And this is an unreal golf hole, number three at PJ Catalunya. Right, so the final day of this trip to Costa Brava. I've got to do this as a man versus golf hole challenge because uh, we've played two holes and already it's like this place is uh, it's pretty special, I think. Love the look of this hole anyway, par five. Got some drone footage going over for you to have a look at it. Uh, pretty much straight down all the way and straight to the hour bit for me. So just trying to stay out them trees and get somewhere near that uh, green in regulation. Plenty of water down there as well. One of them places where uh, it's hard to keep a smile off your face, to be honest with you. So as you can see, the greatest of tee shot really pulled this one away down this left hand side. I've got a gap, I brought a few clubs over, it's one of them places where at the moment the fairways are a bit wet this morning and Buggy has got to stay 50 yards away. I'm going to go in and try and get a six iron up and through that gap. I know, what am I thinking? That's a dig. That's gone right where I was aiming, which is a very unusual statement. Go. Really pleased with that. We're back in the game, but I don't know how far that's going to lead me into this green. Right, it's got itself back in play, but um, plenty still to do. It's a real, uh, nothing left on this one. All water down the left-hand side and plenty of bunkers uh, down the right. So, only option is a good shot, I think. Let's see if we've got one. To ride online if it's got the legs sit yeah happy with that one it certainly makes you think it was uh, you just got to commit to them shots and I did for a change and uh, that's good happy still smiling I think if it had gone in the water I'd have still smiled to be honest with you didn't see that coming after the tee shot it was horrific but uh, got away with it two decent shots and I'm uh, now would you believe putting for birdie I did mention on the tee I think it's about stroke index 13 so uh, no shots so this would be a great turn up I'm gonna roll this in right to left I think too bold and after uh... didn't move I completely misread that because uh, I started off on the line I was aiming for and uh, thought I'd give that a bit of a chance, but it was a bit of a misread. Anyway, I don't care. Par five and uh, what a great golf hole that is. That's some golf hole, you know, and uh, apart from the tee shot, quite happy with that. Uh, next up, staying in Spain, but over um, on the sunny Costa del Sol. Uh, although it wasn't that sunny, to be fair, but I played with uh, Peter Finch and Matt Fryer. We had a few days there, a number of different courses. And this is at La Quinta. It wasn't a man versus golf hole challenge, but you'll see me, it kicks off with being a bit of trouble and uh, then play what is a gorgeous little par three. Almost a gimme. Hey, I thought we were friends. <laughs> that 
friendship ending when you gave me mine. Soft dance from Andy. Played some really good short game shots today so far, mate. It's a majestic oh, form. Nice. That's a good strike again. You bro. Just about got there, didn't it? Hanging on there. So there was yeah. a worrying moment there for a while. It was uh, going a little bit far, but. Yeah. Great little par three that was, and uh, just a quick note on the greens, they've been spot on, really good roll on all of them, but every, we're eight holes in now, and uh, pretty much every one of them has been a uh, decent golf hole to be fair. Just um, thoughts on it so far, Pete? Excellent. It's good, I, it? I would give it eight and a quarter out of ten. Quarter. The only thing that was missing a little bit was just permanent sunshine. But you know, that's not in anyone's control. Green keepers can't do that. No, no, they? no. But no, it's been good, hasn't it? Very good. Matt, I want a sandwich. Time for a break. Mm. <laughs> Great words there from Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Fant no, I'm not strong, strong words. Really, there really, enjoyable golf really, really enjoyable golf course. Really enjoyable. Yeah, uh, uh, what a lovely par three, and there's some great holes on there, but it did absolutely lash down later on in the round, so we didn't quite see it in all its glory. Uh, finally, I'm going to return back to PJ Catalonia because as I was having a flick back through these, there were so many nice holes I could pick from from there. It's a stunning golf course. It's difficult there's a lot of water there's um yeah there's a lot of hazards to say the least and uh, this is hole number 14 uh, stroke index six and uh, as you can see uh, it's none too easy okay final old man versus golf hole challenge i promise you but i can't ignore this one it's on the 13th or 14th very much a signature hole at uh, catalonia it's stroke six it's just absolutely gorgeous you've got to get a drive in play and then hopefully something fairly short into that uh, Again, another island green as I call them. When you got the ball fight, leaked it out right. Um, I don't know what's quite over there, but I think it's, I think it's over. I think we've just been up that fairway, so it shouldn't be too bad and hopefully I've got a shot into that green. Right, 157. Um, well, you don't want to be long or short, really, so this is going to have to be clubbed right. I'm going to go with 7-iron. It's a decent 7-iron for me, that. Got lucky, bailout was definitely down the right, and there's plenty of room down here, but a uh, bit of a hanging lie. Come on, decent shot. Oh, it's not a decent shot at all. That's really heavy and in the, in the drink. I'm gonna take the shot from here again. Right, really, I'm not gonna finish on that. I'm gonna have another pop from here. Cause uh, I love this hole and that's not the way to finish. Come on, and hit the thing. That's a much better strike. Got through that one better. Go, has he got the legs? Oh yeah. Why didn't I do that first time round, eh? But never mind, I'm on dry ground. So what's that? Put for a five, innit? Right, on dry ground, the, I mean, it's a, it's a tough old hole, simple as that, but yeah, happy to have hit a second good one at least anyway. And uh, this is for five, net four, you never know. I'm gonna leave the flag in again, just to give you a better idea of, uh, before someone wants to give me a two-shot penalty. Right, let's finish this one on a high. Go on. Uh, I was always just that little bit low, it was good pace to be fair. 
Happy with the bottom maker six, and uh, I was well and truly beaten by PJ Catalonia. So that's it, another three holes of man versus golf to take us away a little bit uh, in our minds, at least, out to uh, you know where we will get to very, very soon. So uh, stay safe, keep healthy, get involved in that comments. Don't forget the question from the beginning is uh, where you're going to play your golf and who with. And for now, I will call it a day and I'll see you probably tomorrow because we've got a launch monitor arriving, fingers crossed, tomorrow and uh, there'll be some club testing on the way. So anyway, take care. See you soon.